our reporters have been doing video stand-ups for years, uh, whenever there's news or whenever somebody uh, requests it, pretty much. And they've also been doing uh, live Q&As with the audience in a text format for years. And we just mix the two together so that the audience can submit questions and our reporters can answer on video. Hi, I'm Frank Ahrens, economics blogger at the Washington Post, and uh, today, for some fun, we're going to take your questions uh, via video. First off, here's a good question. Will Goldman Sachs CEO Lloyd Blankfein lose his job? Well, now that could be a reasonable question, especially after what you saw maybe on Capitol Hill yesterday. Well, we have about 40 uh, regular live Q&A programs now that are text-based. I think most of those will eventually switch over to this uh, video format. Uh, and I expect probably hundreds of reporters in the newsroom to be doing this within a few months when news uh, flares up. We're expecting our, the journalists in the newsroom to be doing these shows when they're on the road. We're expecting them to be doing them from their desks. We're expecting to be able to do, uh, you know, fairly shortly, uh, interview shows where they'll be talking from the newsroom to colleagues or sources you know, across the country. Uh, we're really looking at this as an opportunity for them to conduct, you know, journalism in real time. We're looking at these videos uh, as just part of our overall news coverage. So readers of the Post, if they're looking for them, uh, should be able to find them where they look for news or blogs or articles uh, on whatever topic they're interested in. So. Uh, when we do a show on the Washington Capitals, uh, that'll be in the sports section. Wherever Post users are looking for Post news and information, they'll be finding these, uh, these videos. The shows are, are live and, and they're particularly valuable when, when they're actually being conducted. Users can submit questions and those questions will get onto the show. But once the show's over, uh, they're not going to disappear. They'll be put into archive mode. Users will be able to link directly to the full show, they'll be able to link directly and share uh, highlights of the show, different segments, uh, and find them in Site Search and on Google. It's not a Skype connection. It's, it's an internal player that we use to, uh, to display all of, our, all of the site's video. It's a version of that player. Uh, as far as what uh, the video sources could be, uh, there's pretty much no limit to that. They can be studio cameras. They can be webcams. Uh, we built the system, we used some open source code, and we use our internal uh, video player to display the results. Uh, reporters, the hosts, the people participating uh, in the video uh, chats can do it from anywhere there's a webcam or a studio camera. We expect most of them to just sit down in front of their computer, look into the webcam, uh, and, and go take a look at um, uh, another issue that's in the news right now that uh, you've read about and you've been reading about for the past uh, several weeks probably. It's what some people are calling the Greece fire. Uh, it is Greek's debt crisis.